Blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce, another runner in the night. That song has the strangest lyrics. What's up everybody, this is Scott and welcome back to another video. As you've probably noticed in the last video or two, I've been working on the lighting of my studio space. And by studio space, I mean a spot in my basement. It's not easy being a young YouTuber. Anyway, one of the things that I wanted to work on was lighting. I still can't quite figure out what kind of camera I want to get to, so I'm going to do all the little things first. Plus, I'm also getting an addiction from phone cases to smart light bulbs, so I'm sure that's going to be a great investment. <sighs> There's another type of light bulb that was out on the market that I wanted to try, and when I went and got this little guy right here, I had no idea how to actually pronounce the company's names, because I was like, is it Lifix? 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 Nope, it's actually LifeX. Literally exactly what it says on the box. Hmm. It's okay, I went to city schools. So being again that I have an addiction to smart home, home automation type things, it made sense for me to actually take a look at this light bulb. And I'll be honest, I'm really surprised at how well this light bulb compared against to that of the Philips Hue and the TP-Link light that I've reviewed a few weeks ago. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that there's a pretty good chance that you may wanna think about making this the smart home light of your choice. And here are a couple reasons why I believe that. So first things first, I'm the realist. Right out of the gate, the brightness of this light bulb, as a matter of fact, it's the light bulb that is directly above me, so you can kind of see that it is substantially brighter than some of the other lights around me. And honestly, that is one of the biggest distinctions between it and the Hue light and the TP-Link light. Now, don't get me wrong, the other lights are very bright. This, though, the LifeX light bulb, is whoa bright. It's 1100 lumens, which if you're like me, you have absolutely no idea what that actually means. Honestly, lumens equals brightness. That's kind of the layman's way that I've figured it out. The more lumens that you have, the brighter it will be. Compare that to the TP-Link light, that's 800 lumens. Still plenty bright for what you need, but this light is far and away the brightest of the three that I've compared. One of the other things that I like about this is its UI control on the app itself is better than the Hue light and better than the TP-Link light. It is very simple, very easy to use. You have a tremendous amount of options. I do enjoy the color wheel that does go around in circles. You can pick the brightness and the color simultaneously, or you can also set scenes, again, much like that of the TP-Link or the Philips Hue light, but it's much more friendly UI when you're using the app. For me, when I compare the colors to that of the TP-Link light and the Philips Hue light, you have a lot of options. It does feel warmer, it feels colder when you're using the more bluish, whitish lights. That's something that I do enjoy, but the colors just pop when you actually choose the colors from the color wheel. When I compare like a blue-white to that of the TP-Link or this of the LifeX light bulb, I get more of a true whitish, bluish feel with the LifeX light bulb and get more of a lightish, purplish hue with the TP-Link. Again, side by side is the only way you're going to be able to notice that. That's just something that I notice because I have one right here, one right behind me, and one off to my left that you can't see in the video. Maybe in one of the future videos that I'll do, I'll compare the three where I'll do side by side comparisons, but this is specific about the LifeX light bulb. The setup of the bulb, it comes in a very minimalist package style. Basically, you pop the top open like this, the bulb is inside, it's a plug and play methodology. Take it out of the container, plug it into the light socket, again, it's the one that's directly above me, and then you just connect it to the app. I mentioned the app before, super UI friendly. I like the way that this looks. Uh, this for me is far and away the best app so far. It's this one in the TP-Link and then somewhere down the line, the Philips Hue app. You open up the app and boom, you connect it. It took me about mm, approximately 60 seconds to get this light bulb above me set up. And so that was much, much easier for sure than the Philips Hue light, which required me to plug in a bridge, then plug in this other thing and then download an app. And then I can start to connect it to Google Home. This LifeX bulb works with Google Home. And as you all know, that is kind of the central hub of my my whole smart home automation. Setup was super easy through the home app. I was able to say, okay, I'm gonna connect these three lights to call them studio lights. 
and this is what I have to control it. I like this much better than having a bridge like the Philips Hue Lite, but if you don't have a smart home system like Google Home, Alexa, or Siri, or whatever the HomePod thing is, Amazon, or Apple's calling it these days, that thing looks so strange. And it's 350 bucks, what? Doesn't require a bridge, and if I had to do it all over again, I wish I would have waited and got more of these light bulbs rather than the Philips Hue light bulbs. So overall, from a performance perspective, this is a very easy plug and play to use light bulb. Uh, if you use it about three hours a day, you're looking at mm, 22 years worth of usage out of this light bulb. Again, super vibrant colors, very, very bright overall. I highly recommend this. If I had to start a smart home system with lighting today, I would choose these LifeX light bulbs first, followed by the TP-Link. That's basically 1A and 1B. Then I would follow it up with the Philips Hue light. Again, if I had to do it all over again, I would ditch the Philips Hue system, go with either the LifeX light bulb or the TP-Link light bulb, and start my system that way. Let's talk about the price really quick. Smart lights are not cheap. Philips Hue is definitely not cheap, and the TP-Link light bulb cost me somewhere around, I think I said in the video, about 50 bucks a bulb. This is no different. This was about $47.99 at Best Buy. I think it's $47.99 on Amazon. At least that's the last time that I checked. Anytime that you're looking at a smart color changing bulb at this point today, you're looking at spending somewhere between $45 and $55 per bulb. That's just for a bulb like this that doesn't have like the nighttime infrared or anything like that. That is just your regular standard smart light bulb that changes into 10,000 different colors or 10 million colors or whatever number that they throw out at you. So from a cost perspective, again, it's the LifeX light bulb and the TP-Link light bulb followed then by the Philips Hue light bulb. So that's it. That's all I have on the LifeX smart light bulbs. 1100 watts, super bright, awesome, high energy, buzzword, buzzword, buzzword. As always, you guys are the best. I almost went into my whole little spiel there. As always, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Leave a comment below. And I will see you all next time. Did by the light.